take good. The greatest game. Now everybody knows about Tekken 3. That's where we all jumped down the Tekken train. Me and Vin used to just like literally spend all night playing like Tekken fighter games. Or but did you know that there was a Tekken game before Tekken 3? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Probably two actually. Today I'm taking you back to the past and playing the shitty games that suck ass like Tekken 1 and boy oh boy does this game suck some major ass. Not really, but kinda. What people forget about Tekken is that it was originally a horror game. Look at the graphics on this character select screen. It is just incredible the sheer concentrated this terror game. they were able to achieve Boomer. with the pre-rendered models. Except for a King's cutscene, for some reason the graphics on the children are ve actually very realistic. Yoshimitsu is a flying head. He has no body. No eye, no ear, no nose, no mouth. Well, he does have an eye and a nose. No eye, no body. No eye, no shape, no shape. He may not have a body or a mind or a soul, but he does already have his spin a rooney attack because he is a ninja from outer space who is the head of the Manji Thieves Guild. So he steals money from the tournament and is throwing it out to people and Law is like, oh. and this is because Law likes money. It says here right in the instruction booklet. Nina looks like she does not want to be in this game. Her storyline is that her sister says, you stole my shoe. And then she goes, but turns out she really did steal her shoe. This is the storyline for Tekken 1. Law, uh, it, it should be against the law to have graphics like this bad. Thank you. Thank you. Jack looks fine here, but then you get in the game and it is a whole different story. I Why forgot Jack was in the absolute first game. So scary? Gameplay wise, this is Tekken at its most it's stripped down and school. basic. Before each character had six stances with 200 moves each. You have Bizarro Moon Gravity from Virtual Fighter and hilarious ground combos where you jump 300 feet into the air and yeah, that's actually a real combo. This is because when you get knocked down in Tekken 1, you stay down for about four years. Years. Most of the combos in this game start with a generic launcher move like uppercut or jump kick. Unlike later games, you're never going to accidentally waltz into an awesome combo. It's far too rigid for that, but if you take some time to learn combos, the damage on them is absolutely insane. Polly, bring up my Yoshimitsu combo on the screen. <laughs> The cutscenes are kind of very confusing, but there's a lot of info in the instruction manual about the characters, like Michelle Chang, who is a Native American, and she likes buffalo. <laughs> Stupid ass fucking Tekken. King's hobby is watching the smiling faces of children, and he likes jaguars. The animal. Nina Williams. Well, I always thought Julia, Julia was like Peta, you know, Her like, but she likes hunting. Are all trying to get revenge on. Hey, Hachi hey, Mishima. Who is the final boss of this game? You just can't beat Hihachi as a final boss. He's such a great villain, just an absolutely evil bastard with badass electricity moves and giant wing hair. Kuma. Here he is. Everybody loves Kuma. This is the greatest character of Tekken. In this one, I think he is supposed to be a large beaver. <laughs> Damn, it was ugly. Well, that's fine. Kuma is a monstrosity. I love how they introduce Kazuya. He seems to be poised as the main protagonist of Tekken, but then you beat the game. He picks up Hihachi, and he goes. All you really accomplished is replacing one villain with his son, who's even more evil. But you have to remember that Tekken is a very advanced storyline, and it's actually very philosophical. Even the most irredeemably evil character is humanized in some small way. Going back to the instruction manual, we can see that Kazuya likes to collect sneakers. Look, Kazuya, it's the new Yeezus shoes. Take care. This game is fucking nuts, and I love nuts. Pecans especially. Already, we're getting our first dude gets thrown off of a cliff moment, and it's Hihachi, the main character of Tekken. They killed off the main character of Tekken in the first game. He is dead now. He is gone permanently, and he is never, ever coming back. Now, Tekken 2, from the very opening shot of the intro, we can see that Hihachi is actually still alive. True.